Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Lee Anderson, or perhaps it's actually Rishi Sunak for putting Lee Anderson in charge. A clip that was recorded about a month ago has resurfaced following the Stop the Boats bill that has just passed its second reading in the House of Commons. In the clip, Lee Anderson, the Tory deputy chair, said the quiet bit loud that the Tories can't fight the next election on Boris, Brexit or Corbyn. So they need a new topic, culture wars. Have a listen to this. When you think of those men that you were, say, down the pit with and, and around that time, uh, they would have been... What would they think of the Labour Party now? Well, I'll tell you what they think of the Labour Party now. They voted for me at the last election. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of them men that was on strike, yeah. including my dad, um, uh, voted for me. Uh, yeah. yeah, voted for me because... The big thing in, in 2019, there was three things that won us the election. It was nothing to do with me. Uh, it, was, it was Brexit, it was Boris, it was Corbyn. Mm. And it was as simple as that. Those three things together was a great campaign, mm. great ingredients. Um, mm. At the next election, we haven't got those three things. So mm. we're going to have to yeah. think of something else. It'll probably be a, cult, a mixture of culture wars and trans debate. And but I don't think <laughs> You're not supposed to say that, Lee. Culture wars and trans issues. Not... What we've done for the economy. Actually, no, you can't argue on that. Uh, that that's an absolute disaster. Um, the NHS, no, you can't argue on that either because that's an absolute disaster under the Tories. Uh, education, no, another disaster. So, yeah, <laughs> this is what no, is normally said behind closed doors in these party meetings. OK, we the public have lost trust in us on a whole range of issues. What can we fight on instead? But as I said, this happens behind closed doors, not in interviews. <laughs> you know, when I said at the beginning, who's the fool of the week here, Lee Anderson or Rishi Sunak for putting Lee Anderson in charge? They're taking the public for mugs. Yeah, you know, we've trashed the economy. People can't get jobs. People can't afford to buy food, to pay the rent, to pay their bills. And we're not actually going to talk about those issues. We're going to talk about fringe issues. We're going to talk about wedge issues. We're going to talk about um, you know, culture wars. We're going to talk about free speech in on university campuses. We're going to talk about um, trans issues. We're going to talk about things that the, the general public are not focused on. I'm not saying these things are not important. I'm just saying these, this is not what the general public are focused on. The general public are focused on the NHS, energy bills, paying the rent, pay, buying food, sending their kid to school, sending their kid to school where they'll actually have a meal, things like this. These are the important things. Then, then the next level would be probably public transport, energy, the environment, things like this. But the, the Tories can't win on these issues because they've lost the trust of the public. So instead, migrants, yeah, stop the boats. We'll turn up the rhetoric on that up to 11 to try and convince people to be angry because angry people come out and vote. The Tories know this. UKIP knows this. The Brexit Party know, knows this or knew this. Uh, Reform UK know this. Angry people come out and vote. And you don't need a huge number of people to come out because of first past the post. All you need is to flip a few seats in marginals and then you have um, an 80 seat majority as we saw in 2019. I think Lee Anderson is going to lose his seat at the next election. As he said, it was about Corbyn, Brexit and Boris. And, uh, you know, he may have some headbangers in his constituency who are cheering him on but i think the vast majority of people in his constituency are looking at cost of living and saying and the nhs and education and saying no no more of this yes you we we even may like lee anderson because he's a bit of a head ball head the ball but <laughs> um but we're looking at the party we're going to vote against the party and i've said this on numerous occasions elections are referendums on the incumbent so the next election will be a referendum on the Conservative Party and the Conservative government. Are people happy with it? 
yes or no? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think, and I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.